According to the end of year crime stats released today by the LAPD, Chief Michael Moore is leaving the city in better shape crime wise than it was last year. Assignment manager Mark Liu has been studying the new numbers and he's live at the desk to break them all down for us. Mark, what really stood out to you? Well, Amy, there's a whole bunch of data that the LAPD released here, but the highlights include an overall reduction in homicides and an overall reduction in those flash mob style retail robbery thefts that we've seen so much on social media about. But interestingly, for the first time in nine years, the people in the city of Los Angeles, more people were killed in LA by traffic collisions than by homicides. Now, if you come out to my screen, I'm going to show you some highlights here. This is the data report from the LAPD. They start first with homicides, 327 homicides in the city of LA. That's 65 fewer victims than 2022, a 17% reduction. They said all bureaus of the LAPD saw a reduction in homicides. Operations South Bureau had the largest decrease of about 23%. That's the South LA area all the way down to San Pedro. Their homicide clearance rates floated about 76%. A clearance rate is when a homicide uh, basically a suspect is taken into custody and that homicide essentially is is closed or cleared in their database um, and then victims shot about 1200 victims shot this year 127 fewer than in 2022 but this report was the one that really interested me the most flash robberies you can see this graph of when flash robberies happened in the city of LA. This line right here that they put on this graph is when the organized retail theft task force was implemented. It was August 21st of last year. They say, LAPD says in the 132 days since the beginning of the task force, there was a 33% reduction in those flash robberies compared to the 132 days prior. And the task force conducted 109 search warrants, made 128 arrests, and recovered $151,000 in stolen property. Now, the other interesting report that they added was this graph. It shows citywide homicide versus fatal traffic crashes. Now, it goes all the way back to 2014. The red line you see down here on the bottom, that's fatal traffic crashes. The blue line is homicides. And you can see in 2023, fatal traffic crashes increased higher than homicides. They say that's the first time that's happened in nine years. Now, some of the reasons they gave for this change, they say driving under the influence of alcohol, marijuana, and other intoxicants was up, driving at speeds that were inherently unsafe, and also driving while distracted by texting or other things made this increase of fatal traffic crashes in 2023. They also say, Amy here, that driving under the influence, DUI-related crashes, relating in death, increased by 32% in 2023. I'll keep digging through this data. If there's anything else interesting, I'll definitely let you know. Until then, Amy, that's it from the desk. I'll send it back to you. All right, Mark, thanks so much.